I'm in Washington, D.C., just a few blocks from the White House. And insiders tell me for some delicious all-American meat, I need to check out Founding Farmers because they're serving the best Yankee pot roast in town. All-American meat. Since 2008, Founding Farmers Restaurant has been serving up hearty meals using mostly sustainable ingredients. Their commitment to great food comes straight from the 42,000 farmers who together own this DC eatery. Did you ladies have any idea that this place is owned by 42,000 farmers? I had no idea it was 42,000. I knew there were farmers involved. Farmers. We come to Founding Farmers whenever we get a chance, mainly because of the food. It's always fresh. Look at this. Look at that, buddy. Right there. That's a burger. Love it. The freshly ground burgers are just one of the mouth-watering American favorites that keep this place packed. Good job, guys. Very fast tonight. Very fast. Executive chef Al Napo is a Tucson, Arizona transplant who's proud to be a part of this all-American institution. We want to have all that food that you grew up having on your dinner table every night. Great meatloaf. Our braised Yankee pot roast is phenomenal. Nice. And then we've got our fried green tomatoes, which are definitely an American dish. American favorite right there. I'd love to check out the pot roast. Let's do it. All right. What makes this a Yankee pot roast? Well, you know, they say that pot roast dates all the way back to colonial New England. So okay. I don't think it gets any more Yankee than yeah. that, right? Right. So this is a chuck roll. Yeah. So I just took this, broke it down a little right. earlier into some nice big chunks. And we're just going to season it up with some right. salt and pepper, a little celery salt. That's very interesting. I never use celery salt to season anything. Yeah, we're just going to. I use it in my Bloody Marys. Yeah, of course. Plenty of it. <laughs> All We're right. going to take a little bit of garlic powder, just so we can get a nice blend of several flavors right. on there. So we're going to sear this so it's nice and crusty. Absolutely. Searing this with the seasoning on it, it's going to develop that caramelization crust, which is going to kind of lock in all that flavor, That's right? That's exactly what it's going to do. You know what? It's going to give us a nice little crispy shell on the outside. Right. And keep all that moisture and all that flavor right in it. That smells so good. We're just getting started, you know? Man, it smells so good. <laughs> The color on that, that's exactly yep. what we're looking for. Nice, even color all the way across. Chuck roll, getting seared here by Al. <laughs> and we're just gonna set them aside, and then we're gonna use all that delicious flavor and fond, as we call it, in Get the it. bottom of the pan. Get it. And we're gonna use that to cook our vegetables. So right. we're just gonna cook these for a second. Just wanna get a little bit of heat on them. Right. Make sure you can see where they picked up some of the Basically, speckles. they're soaking up all that, that, that beef flavor. That's it. We're gonna throw in a little bit of fresh garlic. Um, I'm gonna take some chicken stock. So that's gonna help us with a little bit of depth of flavor. Now I've got a little bit of beef base. This is a stock that's been cooked down, and it's, it's concentrated flavor. Now we're gonna add a couple of finishing touches to it that are gonna make or break any good pot roast, and that's fresh herbs. I've got some fresh rosemary here, and then I've got some fresh thyme. Lay that beef down inside of there. Now we've got a couple of bay leaves. That's just gonna give it that nice, earthy, little herbaceousness, herbaceous if you will. Herbaceousness is the word I was looking for, Al. And then I've got cinnamon stick. And the thing is, it just gives it a really nice kind of sweet finish and it's yeah. fantastic. Smells great. 275 degrees for about three, maybe three and a half hours. Can we fast forward it? You cannot rush a good pot roast. With 300 years of history and 42,000 farmers all riding on his shoulders, it's time to find out if Chef can represent. I really don't know why I just used a knife. 